Welcome to this edition of SAU Magazine, a weekly program featuring news, profiles, sports, commentary, interviews, and special events, all coming to you from the campus of Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia. This is a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Tabitha Taylor. And I'm Daniel Nickerson. There's a new twist in the SAU presidential search. Three additional candidates will be interviewed this weekend in Little Rock. At the time, five candidate names were released last week, an additional three wished to remain unidentified. The Magnolia Banner News had requested applicant materials through the Freedom of Information Act. The SAU Faculty Senate had previously asked for names of the presidential semifinalists. One of the additional candidates is Dr. Ben Johnson, president of Peru State College in Nebraska. A second candidate is Dr. Claudia Limbert. She is the campus executive officer at the Du Bois branch of Penn State University. The third candidate is Dr. Bob Riley. He is the president of East Texas Baptist University in Marshall, Texas. SAU faculty members are on the presidential search committee. They have expressed frustration at some of the techniques used in the selection process by Corn Ferry, a consulting firm. As part of Caring Cans, a nationwide philanthropic event hosted by Sigma Gamma Rho, Black Students Association, and Sodexo Campus Services, there will be a food drive to benefit the needy in this area. Volunteers will be gathering non-perishable food items from now until December 3rd to donate to local food banks. In conjunction with the Caring Cans drive, Three organizations are extending a challenge to student groups to create a box for canned donations. The Arkansas Council for Women in Higher Education will award up to three scholarships of $500 to outstanding women in Arkansas. To be eligible, applicants must be a full-time female faculty or staff member currently employed by an institution of higher education, hold a bachelor's degree, and have been accepted in a graduate program. For additional information, SAU women may get in touch with Dr. Mary Hamilton, campus representative. The English and Foreign Languages Department recently hosted the annual Arkansas Philological Association Conference in Hot Springs. Dr. Shannon Schrader was program chair of the conference and several members of the faculty gave presentations. They included Dr. Brad Herzog, Michelle Hello, Jafet Makia, Dr. Lynn Belcher, Jiping Wang, and Dr. Donis Taylor. SAU alumnus and current Secret Service agent Larry Lundin is trying to raise funds for a worthy cause. Craig Miller, a special officer with the Secret Service, was killed during the World Trade Center attacks on September 11th. Miller was a decorated war veteran and was helping people escape from the towers when they collapsed. Miller left a wife, nine and ten year old sons, and twin seven month old baby boys. To make a donation, please call 870-235 4040. That's 870-235-4040. This has been a Southern Arkansas University News Brief. I'm Daniel Nickerson. And I'm Tabitha Taylor. With an SAU profile, I'm Leah Stillman. And I'm Viola Freeman. The Mule Rider Yearbook is coming soon. For the last two years, the students and faculty have not had the opportunity to reminisce over a yearbook. The Mule Rider staff assures us that not only will there be a complete yearbook this year, there will also be one from last year. The Mule Rider staff was reorganized last spring in order to give it one more chance before it was cut out altogether. The staff of four became three, then finally two, leaving the editor to work all summer long and into the fall semester in order to bring the Mule Rider to us before Christmas break. The advisor for the yearbook is John Carey. The editor for both yearbooks is sophomore Allison Mott. The photographers are Rachel Somners and Leah Stillman, and the head writer is Pamela Porter. The 2001-2002 yearbook are expected to be ready in fall 2002. With an SAU profile, I'm Viola Freeman. And I'm Leah Stillman. SAU Sports, I'm Shannon Watson. And I'm Tasha Hicks. SAU rolled over Henderson State last Saturday. The final score was 56-35, making the Mule Riders 5-5 for the season. Torrance Jones gained 146 yards and scored two touchdowns. Quarterback Ted Williams had 81 yards rushing and hit 9 of 22 passes for two touchdowns. 
Nicholas Lewis finished the night with five receptions for 100 yards. Senior linebacker Eddie Key finished with 18 tackles. The SAU Ryder Ed volleyball team lost to the University of Central Arkansas last Friday, marking the end of volleyball season. Karen Garner and Brandy Chisholm had 14 kills, and Mary Caldwell and Whitney Pryor each had 11 for UCA. Brooke Barnett had 17 kills for SAU, Holland Hall had 15, and Brooke Bowling had 17 digs. Heading into the last week of conference play, the Ryderettes appeared to be ready. SAU had previously won against UCA at home. SAU will not be heading to playoffs this year. They fell to 16 and 17 for the season, 4 and 8 in conference play. The cross country teams ended their season at the NCAA South Region Division II Cross Country Championships in Atlanta, Georgia. SAU placed 10th in the men's division. Matt Albertson finished 30th, Alan Reyes was 42nd, Matt Quinn at 46th, and Michael Hunt in 47th place. In the women's division, SAU placed 9th, with Beth Augenstein finishing 26th, Cassandra Montgomery 30th, Anna Roberts 49th, Valerie Ponson 52nd, and Veronica Villagran in 59th place. Senior linebacker Eddie Key has been selected as a 2001 College Scholar Athlete. He has earned many awards and scholarships throughout his college career. Each Scholar Athlete will be awarded an $18,000 postgraduate scholarship. Only 16 students were selected for this honor. SAU Sports, I'm Tasha Hicks. And I'm Shannon Watson. With commentary, I'm Julie Hillage. And I'm Liz Matern. While common courtesy is something we expect from one another as licensed motorists, some drivers often forget that second group of people affected by our traffic laws, pedestrians. It has been observed by several members of the SAE walking public that many drivers do not obey the signs posted at crosswalks on campus. These motorists often speed through the 15 mile per hour zones and pay no attention to pedestrians at the crossings. This lack of consideration for pedestrians is not only rude, it is also illegal. By law, motorists must give the right of way to any pedestrian crossing the street within a marked crosswalk or at an unmarked intersection. If you are a motorist traveling through a marked pedestrian crossing, please, for the safety and consideration of those around you, come to a complete stop. Often we who travel by foot cannot see you, and we do not wish to become acquainted with the hood of your vehicle. With commentary, I'm Liz Matern. And I'm Julie Hillage. With an SAU Police Log, I'm Deanne Young. And I'm Jennifer Hubbard. This message is provided by the United States Postal Service. What should make me suspect a piece of mail? It's unexpected or from someone you don't know. It's addressed to someone no longer at your address. It's handwritten and has no return address or bears one that you can't confirm is legitimate. It's lopsided or lumpy in appearance. It's sealed with excessive amounts of tape. It's marked with restrictive endorsements such as personal or confidential or it has excessive postage. A walking escort service is available 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. To request an escort, call extension 4100. Give your name, social security number, and the nearest exit door to your location. Student patrol or a police officer will meet you at the building door and walk with you to any area on campus. Student patrol works at night in our resident hall parking areas to provide safety for our students' vehicles. Presentations for organizations are available, including but not limited to alcohol awareness, sexual assault, and self-defense for women. UPD tailors presentations to meet the needs of organizations. The annual SAU crime report has been made public. Statistics for the year 2000 include three sex offenses, one robbery, one aggravated assault, and six instances of simple assault. There were 14 burglaries, 78 instances of larceny, and four cases of motor vehicle theft. Five arrests were made concerning liquor laws, nine arrests for drug laws, and one arrest for illegal weapons. The Campus Crime Report is in compliance with the Clery Act of 1990. To report campus crime or if suspicious activities appear to be taking place, call the University Police Department at 235-4100. That's 235-4100. With an SAU Police Log, I'm Jennifer Hubbard. And I'm Deanna Young. I'm Shelley Glover and I'm Elizabeth Ray with job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. University Technological Services has 10 openings for lab operator assistants. Hours available are 7 a.m. through midnight, Monday through Thursday, 7 a.m. through 5 p.m. on Friday, 12 noon through 5 p.m. on Saturday, and 2 p.m. through midnight on Sunday. 
Job description includes various duties associated with running student computer lab facilities. If interested, pick up an application in room 109A in Wilson Hall. The School of Business needs an office worker. Knowledge of Access, Word, PowerPoint, and Excel are required. Job description includes grading, copying, and preparation of class materials. Hours available are 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., but would prefer an afternoon worker. If interested, call 235-4923. I'm Elizabeth Ray. And I'm Shelley Glover. With job information from the SAU Employment Resource Center. With this week's entertainment news, I'm Dallas Short. And I'm Matt Gatlin. On November 12th, the ladies of Sigma 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 spent a night working at Pizza Inn to raise funds for a trip to the Dallas Children's Medical Center. The ladies served as waitresses for the night and all proceeds went to the cause. Pizza Inn has also assisted the SAU choir and business students for fundraising activities. Tips for the choir went for the purchase of Madrigal costumes. Business students used it for funds for regional field trips. Also on November 12th, the Columbia County Library hosted Elliot West, author of Contested Plains. West led a reading discussion group as part of the activities surrounding the Frontier in American Culture Traveling Exhibition at Southern Arkansas University. A variety of free lectures, book talks, workshops, and educational events are scheduled in connection with the exhibition. The Frontier in American Culture exhibit will be on display in McGill Library on the SAU campus through December 14th. Many special events have taken place with the exhibit. The SAU Writing Center is a relatively new addition to campus. The Writing Center recently held the Bare Walls Art Contest. The results are in and winners announced. Tiffany Sams received honorable mention for her contribution. Becca Burton's entry garnered third place and Ann Mooney earned second place. The first place entry was by Susan Hutchison. These students' works of art, along with works by others who entered the contest, will be displayed in the SAU Writing Center for the remainder of the academic year. The Writing Center is located on the bottom floor of Miguel Library. There was an engineering meeting on November 14th. The agenda consisted of special projects, field trips for spring semester, the electrothon, and how to become a millionaire. All students, regardless of major, were invited to attend this first engineering meeting. The organization's sponsor is Dr. Rudy Eichenberger. The School of Science and Technology sponsors many similar activities, and that's this week's entertainment news. SAU broadcast journalism students produce informative television programs for viewers in Southwest Arkansas. The SAU Report features interviews with faculty, staff, students, and alumni. It is seen each week in Magnolia on TCA Cable Channel 13. Camden residents can see the SAU Report each morning on Cable Channel 16. Tens of thousands of cable television households in Southwest Arkansas watch the program on KTSS-TV Channel 55 in Hope. The SAU Report not only serves as a learning tool for broadcast journalism students, but serves to inform the region about institutional events and personalities. Some editions of SAU Magazine feature audio segments from these television programs. Be sure and watch the SAU Report on your local cable television service. Informative viewing, provocative subject matter. The SAU Report. With this week's SAU Calendar, I'm Bo Calloway. And I'm Alita Marks. Pre-registration for the Spring 2002 semester ends November 16th. Make your appointment with the Advising Center or contact your academic advisor. The SAU Rider basketball team will play Lemoyne Owen College on November 17th in Memphis. They will then play against Southeastern Oklahoma State University here in Magnolia on the 20th. The Riderette basketball team will play Texas A&M Commerce on the 17th and Louisiana College on the 20th. Both games will be held here in Magnolia. Wednesday the 21st is Student Worker Payday. Room and board payments are also due. Thursday, November 29th, Southern Arkansas University will hold its world's largest candle lighting. The parade will begin at 4.30. Caroling on Over Street Steps will begin at 5.30 to be followed by the lighting and a special dinner. And that's this week's SAU Calendar. SAU Magazine is a production of broadcast journalism students in the Department of Theater and Mass Communication at Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia.